Welcome back to the King's Corner, the place for all things Bethesda. I am the King Fan Man. We all love Easter eggs in games, and Fallout is full of Easter eggs. Well, today, I have a king of an Easter egg. In fact, we are going to talk about the king. No, not the royal type. The king of rock and roll, that is. Did you know the king, Elvis Presley, is in Fallout? He actually makes an appearance in every Fallout game going all the way back to the very first Fallout. Now, some of the references are more obvious than others, but anyone with a keen eye will be able to spot him right away. Now, I do have a question before we begin our Easter egg hunt. Why would three different developers all put Easter eggs about Elvis into their Fallouts? Just to remind you, the three developers are Interplay, who made the first two, then Bethesda, who bought the rights from Interplay, and made Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, and then Obsidian, who made Fallout New Vegas with permission from Bethesda. Why would all of these developers decide to put Elvis, or at least a reference to Elvis, in each game? Well, I really think there are two reasons, actually. Number one, if you're looking for a pop culture reference that is known worldwide, to most every generation or age group, not many, if any, could compare to Elvis. And secondly, and most important, his fame, beginning in the 1950s, makes him the perfect fit into the culture of Fallout, since much of Fallout is based on 1950s Americana, and the 50s would not be the 50s without Elvis. All right, with all that info out of the way, let's head to the wasteland and find some king-size Easter eggs. Going all the way back to Fallout 1, there is a very special random encounter that you can come across. I say special because you must at least have a luck level of 8 and 50% outdoorsman stats as well for this one to even spawn into the game. But if your luck is high enough, you may just come across a crashed UFO and two dead aliens. On one of the aliens, you will find a very special picture. It is a picture of the king, Elvis. Two things make this Easter egg even more strange and funny. First, the picture of Elvis is said to be made of velvet. Now, for those that don't know, this is kind of making fun of the velvet craze of the late 60s and 70s. If you happen to be alive back then, and sadly, I was, no jokes, you will remember velvet paintings of Elvis being sold everywhere. At the department store, the drug stores, even on the side of the road, people would be selling velvet paintings out of the trunks of their cars. Paintings of Elvis, Marilyn Monroe, religious scenes, and even the famous dog smoking cigars while playing poker. In fact, the dog painting and the Elvis painting were arguably the most famous velvet paintings of all. I even kind of wish I had one of those now. Uh, the one of Elvis, not the dogs. The second thing that makes this seem a little funny is the fact that the picture of Elvis is found on an alien. This is possibly a joke about Elvis's death and all the conspiracy theories about him faking his own death and still being alive. Believe it or not, there are many people today that still think Elvis is alive. Anyway, the alien having a Elvis picture is perhaps suggesting that Elvis was really an alien all the time, and he didn't die, he just went back home. Or perhaps a more simple explanation of the alien having the picture is that Elvis is so famous and his music is so good that even beings from other planets are rocking to the jailhouse rock. And maybe the reason these aliens were coming to Earth was to find their idol, the king. We move on to Fallout 2 now, and the velvet painting of Elvis shows back up, and we can find it again. But this time, we can find it in several places in the wasteland. The first place is in a bar in, I'm going to mispronounce this, Kilimath? Kilmath? It's behind a locked door anyway. It's a town near the Kilmath River. And y'all are gonna kill me for mispronouncing that. Boy, that was a bad joke. The second place is on Jock Jubilee. He's an old, kindly-looking fellow who works for the New California Republic. 
The third place you can find it, you might find it on Salt Beef Bob. Yep, that's his name, Salt Beef Bob. He's an old grumpy man with three teeth who is drunk most of the time. Wait a minute, he's drunk and grumpy? Anyway, he works on Roger Weston's ranch. By the way, this picture of Elvis has a map to Vault 13 hidden on it. Shh, don't tell anybody. The fourth place you can find it is in Broken Hills residential area in Eric's home. Another place that can be found is on a bookshelf in Ghost Farms in the underground settlement of Slags. And finally, the last one can be found in a locker in the Environmental Protection Agency, Level Blue. Maybe that's for blue suede shoes, or moody blues, or maybe not. If you were counting, that's six king-size Easter eggs all in Fallout 2. We are now to Fallout 3 and the Fallouts that I'm more familiar with, and I'm sure you are too. Now, in Fallout 3, there is no direct reference or mention of Elvis. Shame on you, Bethesda. But you will see small nods toward him, or at the very least, the style that he made so famous. The greased back hair with the little curl up front and the long sideburns. You know, Elvis started that style. The young people of the 50s saw his style on stage, his hair, his clothes, and he totally changed the world's culture. Before Elvis, the boys were wearing flat top haircuts and slacks with buttoned up shirts. Then came Elvis. The hair got longer and shinier, and even the black leather jacket came from Elvis with the collar that was turned up, or the shirts that had the collar that was turned up. Did you know, this is trivia you can tell your friends, that Elvis wore his shirts that way because he thought his neck was too long so he would turn up the collar. And the people saw Elvis wearing his that way, his jackets and his clothes, and they started doing it too. Well, in Fallout 3, you will see those kind of clothes everywhere. It starts right in Vault 101. You find the Tunnel Snakes gang. This certainly fits the mold of the 50s rebel style that Elvis made so famous. The black leather jacket, the collar turned up, the greased back hair. There it is, Elvis in Fallout 3. Now, as many of you know in the next Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, you don't have to search very hard to find Elvis. He is center stage, meaning there are Elvis references hidden everywhere. In one of the most famous, while roaming freeside, you will come upon a very familiar corner. It's the King's Corner. On this corner, you will see a building with a very familiar silhouette and a large guitar, and on the front with a sign reading, The King's School of Impersonation. You make your way in and actually get to meet the King. Oh. Uh -huh. No, not Elvis. You meet the leader of the gang, the Kings, and they call him the King. He explains they found this building and they thought it was some kind of church where they worshiped this guy. They were learning how to dress like him, to move like him, all about him, and to even be him. But they didn't even know his name. He says all the posters at the school just called him the king. All the books had rotted away, but they did have some clothes and some tapes, so they knew what he sounded like. And he said he wanted to keep the king's memory alive because he was the coolest of the cool. Well, at least he had that right. So now he teaches people how to dance, dress, even sound like Elvis. Now we know what the guy was doing on stage when we walked in. As you do the quest with the kings, you will notice they all either have black leather jackets on with the collar up, or they are dressed like Elvis did in the movie Jailhouse Rock. You may also start to notice that many of the quests are actually the titles of Elvis's songs. Quests like G.I. Blues, Hound Dog, and Return to Cinder. By the way, many of Fallout New Vegas quests are actually the names of songs from the 1950s, like Ain't Misbehavin', Bye Bye Love, Cold Cold Heart, Come Fly With Me, and many more. Sadly, however, there's no Elvis music in Fallout New Vegas. Yep, I cried too. And it's not because Obsidian didn't want any, they did. But the price tag, sadly, for using any Elvis music was just too high. Hey, I understand. That's the same reason there's no Elvis music in this video. Well, actually, there really is. 
If you listen really, really close to the background music, no, Elvis is not singing, but it is his music. Even my intro. Shh. Y'all should have known the King Fan Man would have the King's music playing in the background. <laughs> anyway, now we come to the last Fallout, Fallout 4. And again, Bethesda failed to put a direct reference to Elvis in the game. Maybe it's that price tag thing we were talking about. Well, they did at least put a few nods to him, and this time, they're actually bigger than they were in Fallout 3. You again have Elvis' style of clothing, which is in every Fallout. You, of course, have the Atom Cats with the slick back hair, the black jackets, and the turned-up collar. And they are cool, 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 man. But there's also two magazines, and these are the huge nods to Elvis. The first one is the Taboo Tattoos. The same one that has a Skyrim Easter egg on it that most people pay attention to. But notice the skeleton with the grease back hair. And it's even got Elvis's little curly thing, whatever you call that thing that falls down. Yeah, that thing. And the long sideburns. Then, my very favorite magazine is the Tesla Science Magazine. You actually have a Protectron Elvis. I want you to first notice the hair. And there again is that curly thing that falls down. You actually have a turned up collar on a robot and it's even standing and holding an old timey microphone. Now that may be all the references to the king that Bethesda put into Fallout 4, but you can always count on players and modders to add more. There is one mod that adds the velvet painting back in Fallout 4. I found dozens of Elvis builds out there and there's actually an Elvis alien that you can use as a companion. Now, I'm sure I missed a few, because Elvis is everywhere. Please tell me down in the comments if I missed any king-size Easter eggs in any of the Fallouts, or any Elvis mods that you may know of. Hey, I want to thank you for stopping by the King's Corner today, and if you haven't subscribed, please do it now. It's the cool thing to do. And if you are a subscriber, let me say from my heart, thank you. Thank you very much. I am the King Fan Man, and I'll see you next... Oh, wait. I forgot something. Elvis has left the building. I'll see you next time. <laughs>